Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, messing around with a few mic flags here. We continue to see some fairly quiet conditions early this morning. The view from our Ole Miss camera in Oxford, Mississippi, is showing again a little bit of foggy conditions, but the sun is out and starting to stir things around by just a little bit. And the view from downtown Memphis on our tower cam, a little bit of haze out there, but otherwise a beautiful start in the morning and no major problems seen from the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day. We're uh, forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Partly to mostly cloudy today. Winds out of the northwest and temperatures back in the orange triangle into the lower 80s. Right around 80 degrees. Pretty close to normal for this time of the year. For later on tonight, temperatures back in the lower to mid 60s across much of the area. Winds continue out of the northwest and skies should clear but stargazing early might be a bit of a problem as we see again a lot of sunshine. This today mixed in with the clouds and the clouds will not be leaving anytime soon as we get into into the rest of the forecast. So if you have any plans for dragging out that telescope tonight, might be a little bit of a problem there. Rest of the forecast looks pretty good. We'll take a complete look at what's going on as this area of low pressure drags in a little bit more cloud cover. And as of right now, over the next several hours, temperatures doing very nice into early this afternoon, back into the mid to upper 70s for highs, close to 80 degrees out there. Arkansas taking on Alcorn State into the area around Little Rock today. A few clouds drifting through, but no rainfall expected. Kickoff temperature of around 76 degrees. And, of course, the one in Oxford as Ole Miss takes on the Memphis Tigers tonight. Temperatures doing very nice. Kickoff temperature of 75 degrees and looking good into around the area of North Mississippi for football. Coffee today, yeah, well, you know, start off with some cool temperatures out there. You may want to start with a hot cup of java and then into later on this afternoon, may want to think about cooling yourself off by just a bit as temperatures rise by just a little ways into the upper 70s to the lower 80s. So something to think about as you head out the door. Remember your java temperature, your business, if you get a brain freeze or anything in the way of burned mouth, that's your problem, not ours, so please remember that. Nothing to report in the last 24 hours hours for earthquakes. We're seeing again some quiet conditions out there so far on the New Madrid fault line, so good news on that. On the Ole Miss campus, everybody up and going, ready to go for the football game today. If you'd like to see more of this, you can go to our website, wreg.com, or you can drop by livecams.olemiss.edu for more there. Power Center Academy, sunlight, but nobody at school today over on Winchester Avenue. Rhodes College, a beautiful sunrise early this morning with a few clouds drifting on through the area. Olive Branch camera from former Mayor Sam Reichert's camera around City Hall from the Weather Underground Network and the Ole Miss campus on the track and field cam, showing a few joggers and strollers out this morning here and there, but otherwise pretty quiet so far. For the Almanac, we did not good at all on rainfall for September. Managed with only two-thirds of an inch for the entire day, for the entire month, and we're behind for the month by two and a half inches. We have a foot in surplus for the year but we're getting a little bit drier out there. We'll talk about that coming up a little later today. Mid to upper 70s for highs yesterday, just below our normal of 80, just above our low temperature normal low of 59 at 61 for Memphis. 95, the record high today set back in 1953. Record low of 40 set back in 1984, so it gives you an idea as just the range of temperatures we can see across the Mid-South. Looking at fairly dry conditions across much of the area for later on today, but as we go into later on this afternoon, that storm system north of us might begin to drag in the possibility of a few sprinkles to parts of northwest Tennessee and northeastern Arkansas, but that should be about it, and beyond that, we're just not seeing all that much out there. High temperatures today back in the mid to upper 70s, clouds coming and going, and the chances of anything in the way of precipitation should be staying around middle Tennessee up into southeastern areas of Missouri, west Kentucky, and northwest Tennessee. Temperatures should drop pretty rapidly tonight past sunset, lower to mid 60s, and by the time we reach News Channel 3 daybreak early tomorrow morning, numbers back in the lower to mid 50s. Could be a few mid to upper 40s out there with light and variable winds, and with the leftover moisture, I would not be surprised to see some possible fog forming in the area. Seven day forecast starting with today, mid to upper 70s for highs just below normal for this time of the year, lower 80s as we head into Sunday. And as we get into Monday, temperatures back in the mid-80s with mostly sunny skies. That area of low pressure we mentioned is going to be leaving the Mid-South, giving us some sunnier skies, and that means warmer temperatures in the area. And much of what we're going to be seeing afterwards is going to be very warm. Temperatures pushing 90 by Wednesday, but then afterwards a new storm system settles into the area, and that gives us chances of showers and thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Hopefully nothing that's going to cause a problem with Friday night football. And getting into next weekend, much nicer temperatures back into the mid 
mid to upper 60s to lower 70s. By the time we reach next Monday morning, temperatures could be back in the lower 40s for low temperatures, so very brisk for the kids at the bus stop. Severe weather, we're heading into the second severe weather season. If you have never lived here before, October through December can be a time of severe weather for the area and we need to be ready for that. Best way to do that is to make certain you are volunteering as a Skywarn spotter. National Weather Service will be teaching these classes throughout the next several days and weeks into early portions of winter. And if you'd like to know more about where the next meeting is close to you, go to wreg.com slash weather, or go to the National Weather Service website, click on the Mid-South, and then click on Education and Skywarn so you can find out more about where the next one is going to be. Closest one to the Mid-South area, again, around the Mid-South, the earliest one is coming up this next Tuesday, October the 4th at 6.30 p.m. Ashland, Mississippi at the Benton County Courthouse, 190 Ripley Avenue, and many to come after that throughout the rest of October and early November. Get my forecast on the EAB Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend. And don't forget about our app available at the App Store. And go to search WREG Weather for whatever system you use. Another check of your forecast will be coming up tonight. Again, football could interfere with with some of that so if you can't reach us on air be sure to find us online and don't forget about our email address again if you want to contact me about stuff austin.onic at wreg.com great way to get in contact with me there we're going to continue to see again some dry conditions in the area we're going to be monitoring what is going on down into the Caribbean as well. Didn't have a chance to really mention this in our forecast for today, but we are monitoring Matthew, which as of this morning is a Category 4, very strong storm. It looks like it may have gone back to Category 5, or at least very close to that. Winds of 155 miles per hour this morning, and that's going to be expected to take a turn, unfortunately, fairly close to Florida. So if you're heading to Florida or the East Coast states pretty soon, be careful and keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you up on all of that. More updates coming up tonight on News Channel 3 when we can outside of football and of course online at wrag.com slash weather. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's update, this morning's update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.